dancing, waving, and literature. And now, we proceed to contemporary art. Contemporary art is the art of the present, which continuously in the process and in flux. When we say contemporary art is the art of today, produced by the artists who are living in the 21st century. Many contemporary artists explore personal or cultural identity. Example of artists living today is Miss Saisa Cruz Bahani of Nueva Vizcaya. She was featured in Jessica Soho because of her skill in photography. Today, modern art referred to as traditional compared to contemporary art is the art of the present. Many of Filipino artists and architects become adherents of modern style. The modern art form evolved into a variety of expression. The Filipino artworks during the modern art was neoclassic. When we say neoclassic art, it was a western cultural style or movement during 1860 up to 1970. Fernando Amorsolo is one of the modern artists and also national artists in the Philippines. He made a lot of paintings based on real life. One of his famous masterpiece is the making of Philippine flag. Fernando Ocampo painting was painted in the early 1960s. At that time, the painting was considered contemporary art. But today, we refer to this work as an example of modern art. The painting of modern art and the picture photographed by Saisa Bakani, as you can see, different when it comes of style. However, they have the same meaning, the poor man in the street. Now, we proceed to an overview about the Philippine art. War and virility were very much central to the pre-colonial period. The Philippine art during the pre-colonial period, they also have art that was done before. The painting is done for the body. We call it tattoo today. Usually tattooed here are the warriors and valor. The tattoo also known as pintado wherein pintado hold very important symbols, especially in many ethnic groups. Pintados is a sign of social class and bravery. Bulul is the wooden figure used to guard the rice crop. During the pre-colonial period, Bahay Kubo is the traditional houses of the indigenous Filipinos. The Nipa hat is designed to in endure both rainy and sunny seasons of the country. It was simple and made out of native materials like pipa, bamboo, and coconut leaves. During the Spanish period, the art form are classified under the religious art. Folk art, saint, and interpretation are essential into worship. Like most of their contribution in our country, our churches. San Vicente Ferrer of Dupax, the oldest church in Nueva Vizcaya is one of the example. The Spaniard design, most of the scale are Western modern or European style. Did you know that the University of Santo Tomas is the oldest university in the Philippines, one of the Spanish architectural in the Philippines. Another Hispanic architectural bank is the Bank of the Philippine Island, the first bank in the Philippines. With the arrival of the new colonial power, the American colonization brought high influence to the major Filipino art forms like paintings, sculpture, and architecture. Fernando Amor Solo is one of the artists during the American period. The occupation of American in our country is secular forms of art. Most probably, Spanish and American when it comes of design and style are westernized. The 
did you know that Daniel Barnham introduced new classical style in the Philippines which left an imprint on how we see New Manila outside in Baguio City. During the Japanese period, lost the westernized art form here in the Philippines, but the Japanese form of poetry is haiku. An example of artworks that refers to the violence of the Japanese here in the country. Atrocities in Paco, painted by Justado Lorenzo, depicts a common scene in the Malate or Ermita district, which suffered greatly toward the end of the war, when the Japanese did their worst as they sensed their impending defeat. Doom family was made by Dominador Castaneda. It was painted in the year 1945. This was the time of Japanese invasion in the Philippines. This painting conveys the idea of what Japanese did to the Filipino family, and many people have died during their time. Always remember that to study and appreciate the contemporary is to experience and understand art as a window to Philippine contemporary life.